Well, look, Sam, I, I want to play you the first of these South Park clips and, and get you to react. So this one brilliantly exposes some of the Sussexes' laughable hypocrisy. Watch. And his wife. We want privacy. We want privacy. Hey, thanks for having us on the show. It's so awesome to be here. It's great. So let me start with you, sir. You've lived a life with the royal family. You've had everything handed to you, but you say your life has been hard, and now you've written all about it in your new book, Wee. Yes, that's right, friend. You see, my wife and I are totally like you should write a book because your family like stupid, and then so are like journalists. So you hate journalists. That's right. And now you wrote a book that reports on the lives of the royal family. Right. So you're a journalist. We just want to be normal people. All this attention is so hard. Isn't it true, sir, that your questionable wife has her own TV show and hangs out with celebrities and does fashion magazines? What are you suggesting? Well, I just think some people might say that your Instagram-loving wife actually doesn't want her privacy. How dare you, sir! My Instagram-loving wife has always wanted her privacy! And you know what else? To hell with Canada! We are leaving! We'll go find some quiet place where we can be normal people! Come on, wife! We want privacy! We, we want, want privacy! privacy. Sam, it summed him up so well, didn't it? It's it's hysterical and even adds a, like a distance, uh, you know, resemblance or likeness. What I thought was so glaring and so brilliant about it is it's true. You know, for people who pay PR, uh, you know, they say they hate journalists. Harry hates journalists. But to pay PR that is loaded with journalists and that is loaded with publications and television shows who say what you want and who, you know, shape social perception in your favor while also disparaging and lying about others, thereby reaching their privacy. I think the whole, you know, worldwide privacy tour is hysterical because you're, yeah. you know, you're, you know, in my opinion, in the opinion of others, they're putting themselves on the world stage using expensive PR while demanding privacy, while writing books, while being on Oprah that had 50 million viewers. Uh, you know, people who want privacy don't do that. You live your life quietly in privacy. So it's such hypocrisy. I think they did a brilliant job. Really. I, I think they did too. Now, this second clip maybe gets a little too close to the reality of what it's like inside Sussex Inc. Look back by changing our brand all right and i do see you're in our database but you didn't first get help at this come hammer location no my wife went to one in california as a child ah okay then you must be in the national system oh yeah oh yeah is this you sorority girl actress influencer victim yeah that's totally me okay i see and then you added your husband to your friends and family account you must be the royal prince millionaire world traveler victim that's right so, Sam, you're nodding along there. Do, do you think they have almost cre cr crafted a narrative of being victims that's now starting to explode in their face? Yeah, and so many people have commented from the, uh, the, the Africa, South Africa documentary where she, we saw, she said, nobody asked if I'm okay. You know, people are starving and suffering, and in my opinion, the opinion of others, you can't play victim when you're, you know, flying around on private jets, when you've got security, when you're loaded with millions, you're getting 100 million for this deal, 2 million for that deal. That's not anything to play victim over. I don't know. I don't feel sorry for that. But it's uh, it's incredible hypocrisy. And I think, though, that that victim label allows them seemingly to pull at the heartstrings of people. And it's a smokescreen. It's a smokescreen from what's really going on. So now watch, um, watch I, this third clip, Sam, uh, and tell me yeah. if you think there might be any hidden messages. Okay. Trying to make ourselves into a brand just turned us into products. We don't need to be a brand, do we? If it's truly what we want, then we really can get away from it all. No more magazines and Netflix shows. We really can live a normal life. Yes, I'm sure you agree, darling. We can be the people we talked about being. With no more worries about how we look or the image we project to people. What matters is what we have on the inside. Hello? 
<laughs> so, so, so what are they implying there, Sam? And do you agree? <laughs> Uh, you know, I think I think a lot of people feel that it's been demonstrated that um, there's a lacking of empathy, remorse, shame, and that you know they're kind of empty. That um, what I think the writers are saying is that there's a shallowness there, a hypocrisy, and emptiness. And if they were so sincere about those things. They wouldn't have been parading around the world without considering others, without. You know, the words that come out of their mouth, in other words, are seemingly meaningless because they don't live up to that. They, in fact, demonstrate the opposite. Mm. No, indeed. So, indeed. Uh, and and Sam, the, the, the last point I just wanted to make is that there's mm-hmm. a real irony about the way that they are trying to get your case thrown out because they're saying, oh, we shouldn't litigate. We shouldn't litigate against mm-hmm. every public smear in the court of law. Sam, That's what they have been doing against the British press for years. So aren't you now just giving Harry and Meghan a taste of their own medicine? Well, as we see, they've largely shaped social perception by paying PR, which includes a whole host of journalists. But seemingly they only like what the journalists say when it's in their favor. And when it's not, they become litigious. We've seen the lawsuits. So, I mean, that's a horrible hypocrisy. And I think with um, with me, what I'm going through, you know, I think they take a huge license to defame and disparage other people, but they don't want anyone even even using a distant resemblance or likeness of them or making jokes about them. Excuse me, but I never got the memo that God died and that they became God and they suddenly had a copyright on all things comedy or a woman who has black hair and a man who has red hair. The woman had, you know, happens to be, and she's not a princess. So I think the writers were very funny to say, this is a Canadian princess. Clearly, I don't think they can claim a copyright on the likenesses, albeit distant, that are here. Uh, it's just so arrogant, in my opinion. I, I, Good luck with that in court. I don't think it'll fly. I don't think that can win. That's not First of all, that's not defamation. That's not a misstatement, a fact that's malicious and demonstrably false. It's a cartoon. Cartoons yeah. and comedians have been making fun of people for, you know, Indeed. forever. Indeed. Well, look, Samantha Markle, we follow your case with interest. We are keeping across it. Good luck. Thank you so much, Dan. Thank you.